Hello there! And welcome! Today we are playing Skies of Arcadia Legends! That would be... But first, we're going to enjoy the intro. Yes. Well, we'll play it in a little bit. God, it's Alfonso. He finally found her! Admiral Alfonso, they her ships in range of our cannons. You're gonna shoot that innocent girl. What kind of people are you? Excellent. Fire and evil. Yes, he is! He's, okay. he's firing on an innocent little girl. Who said you even have a weapons of her own? I mean, what the hell, man? I do have to know she's innocent. So if you couldn't tell by the graphics, this game was not originally designed for the GameCube. Like most early Sega games, it is actually a direct Dreamcast port. Uh, so as such, they didn't do anything to improve it on anything, except for changing over the control scheme, that's about it. Excellently! The girl is knocked unconscious! Wow, I hate these people. Why would you do that?! And then he has to laugh, of course. Cause he's evil! He's a jerk! He shoots at innocent little girls! Dad's report! Did, did no, the hell have been hit? That one is attacking us! Cause you're evil! <gasps> Nagasp! Attacking the Imperial so, so, Armada! Yeah, so now we know he's part of this thing called the Imperial Armada, whatever that is. There's a small ship holding it, hiding in the clouds off the port side. That, that flag, air pirates! Oh no, it's, we're all doomed! Except not really, because those are the heroes. <laughs> Or are they? They attacked a ship that was attacking an innocent little girl. I call them heroes. I see what you did there. Flying! Oh, he didn't die. No, he didn't, because he's amazing. Pirate scum! We're value and Imperial soldiers! They were gonna oh, kill you now, you bitch! Know. That's why we attacked your ship. Yeah. You guys have the best Dipshit. <laughs> we wanna kill you now. We're gonna kick your ass. I'm Vice of Blue Robes. In a few minutes, I'll be relieving you of all your valuables. Because he's a badass. <laughs> he is stupid. Come on! No! I refuse! Hey look, it's his friend Ika. One of the many chicks in this game. <laughs> and we're rubbing. Why are you telling them that you're rubbing them? What? <laughs> wow, they're gonna toss our corpses. Okay then, starting right off then. First battle of the game. Just like with Golden Sun, it is a turn-based system. It's not terribly hard to get the hang of. Uh, you press Y to change your elemental solution of your weapon. At this point, you can only do green or red, as literally the name of the elements in this game. They are colors. They are green. They are red. There's also silver, blue, purple, and yellow. And I think that's it. 
Uh, we'll figure those out later. For now, we have green, which is sort of like earth-based magic. Uh, healing magic. It's healing and poison, actually. Red is fire. It also uh, attack ups your attack and defense magic, and I think it lowers it as well. But at this point in the game, I recommend you stick with green, not because it's better, but uh, because the you type of healing. But because of the type of el uh, element you're using determines what magic you learn at the end. And we'll get more into that later, so we're just gonna have an attack. Uh, enemies, all enemies have an elemental affiliation. These Valuan soldiers are of the yellow element, I think. I wouldn't know. Of course you would know, because you... Let me see. Yeah, they're yellow. Come on, I gotta kick his ass. There we go. Alright, that's the first battle and I didn't lose. That was easy. Surprisingly. Oh, shut up. It's impossible to lose that one. So at the end of the battle, you get, you get two types of experience. You get regular experience and magic experience. Your magic experience is dependent on what type of uh, element you were using. For instance, I was using green elements, so I got green experience towards green magic. And I could just learn a green spell, which is Sacri. Sacri is your basic uh, HP healer. It does 500 HP. I just kicked your ass! Why would I throw down my weapons? Logic! Because there's more of them than there are you. Apparently. Oh, but wait. I don't- But wait! I there's more! I was counted. I only see four of you. Ha! Dad! We'll take care of these guys. Make your way to the bridge and shut down the engines. A apparently. And you're not here, remember, it's, quotation, Captain, unquote. Not, quote, Dad, unquote. Got it? Apparently pirating is a family business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> aye, aye. Quote, Captain, unquote. Hey, Aika, shall we go introduce ourselves to the captain of this ship? Let's. Alright, let's go find the bridge. Let's go! So there is voice acting, very minimal voice acting, but it is there. It's better than gibberish of Golden Sun. That gibberish is amazing, and no, you it's... know it. Okay. Don't deny it. There we're gonna sacred crystal. So items in this game pretty much are all related to magic spells. Like for instance, that sacred crystal is basically a sacred spell in L in item form. Uh, the item versions of magic spells are not any less powerful. In fact, I highly I actually recommend you use items more than magic because uh, it's cheaper. Uh, items are not terribly expensive for this first part of the game, and you don't have a whole lot of magic on you. You only have like maybe two or three MP, so you, there's no point in wasting it. Exactly. Cherish, son of Alu's most distinguished family, the Admiral of the Imperial Armada. In other words, you're an ultra evil bastard. Because you're kidnapping an innocent girl. Yeah, duh. I'm gonna kill you now. Yeah, right. Who's the girl? <laughs> you charge in here and didn't know who the girl is. Vice. I never what thought the hell, someone man? of your stature would stoop to kidnap. Yeah, Mr. Distinguished Family Man. He's obviously rich. For cereal, I'm ready. Go, he flips go, his hair go. like a rich person. Indeed. Somebody must get going! <laughs> you exterminate a... You know, you didn't have to call us pets. That's just... That's just mean. Oh, fine from above. Okay, a little bit more on battling. Uh, the other commands I didn't cover, there's item, obviously you use an item, there's guard, if you want to guard, I don't want to guard. S move, we'll talk about that when we get to a boss battle. Uh, magic, Vice doesn't have any magic. <laughs> and then there's focus. Uh, you see at the top there is something, there's a green bar with numbers, that is your SP. To use magic, you need SP. That is why, that's another reason why I prefer items, because items don't require SP. So that, that's a little tip. Uh, uh, S moves also require SP, but I'm not using S, and I don't have any S moves that I can use, so I'm not going to worry about that. So we're just going to uh, attack. Uh, by the way, uh, you can do both a long range or a uh, close range attack. It's a 50% chance which one you do. There's no way to like predict which one you're going to do. 
There was also a... Do they ser- change in, like, uh, power at all? No, they don't. There's this, It's the same power no matter what. Uh, you also can get a critical hits. Critical hits are uh, double the attack power, but they still factor in the enemy's defense and if they're guarding or not. Critical hits are really nice to get. It's totally random if you get them, though, and they are never missed, which is good to know. When you're also, and it's on the enemy's attack turn, you can sometimes do a counterattack. That is also random. Counterattacks are not any less powerful than a regular attack, but they do not miss. So, it's kind of nice. See, like, I could just got a critical hit and kick his ass. They don't have that much HP to begin with. Every character has his own unique critical hit animation, which is kind of fun. Yay, we leveled up. Uh, because these are random battles in this game, I won't be showing every single battle ever. I'll just I'll show battles for this first video, so you can see what battling's like. But that's about it. I might show uh, some of them, show like spells and stuff, maybe, and a few. Uh, that'll pretty much be it. I don't think I'm worried about showing new enemies, like in Golden Sun, because there really isn't a whole lot of variety of enemies. But some of them I'll show you, like tell you what to, like, what to watch out for and stuff. That's about it. And here we have a back attack. This is also a random occurrence. Uh, enemy, when the enemy gets a back attack, they get an extra turn to attack you and try and kill you. If you get a back attack, then you get an extra turn to kill them and attack them. With and when you get a when a back attack happens, uh, you can't defend. Wow, that was really fast. We did it. Damn right, you did it. Did it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Way to pay attention, Matthew. Shh. Quiet! They know not what I'm doing. Just playing my 3DS and trying to beat Dr. New Time 3D, which I already beat. Shut up! <laughs> and I don't like Master Rest. I don't know why he's not playing Master Rest. He's playing the regular version because he's a pussy. Uh, I've never beaten the regular version, so why would I play the Master Quest? Psh, I've beaten the regular version twice. That's once great. 3D and once yeah. on the GameCube. Can I like, play through it? No, you cannot. You must participate. I'm slightly participating. Don't lie. <laughs> it's there's, bad to lie, Matthew. Uh, there's a scant amount of participation going on. Yeah. I'm not lying. Yes, you are. You always lie. No, I don't. Don't lie. <laughs> You're made of lies. Says the liar. Shut up, lies. Now we're just insulting each other. That's that's what we always do. No. Yes. Liar. Shut up, lies. I, I'm not made of lies, sir. So what did you say? <laughs> that was easy. Oh, dang it. Was I supposed to get Surya's song before I came here? I think you are. You're supposed to get it like the very beginning. This is stupid. Yeah. Are you a Gorn City? You're supposed to go all the way back to. If you were there, you have to go all the way back to Saria. You have to go through the Sacred Meadow puzzle. I'm going to find the. There's the shortcut. There we go. Why are we talking about two games at once? Because. Stop we're that! Pro. We're pro! No! How do you do your first. Well, I, uh, I stabbed them. I, I took my stabby sword and I stabbed them. I was like, what now, bitch? Right. She's going to kidnap the princess. The princess is in another castle. Oh, that's unfortunate. I know. Breaking random battle, I will kill you. Probably heal at some point. Too bad, Matthew! Go back to Sharia! It starts you in Cookery Forest in it, if you're a young Link. Regardless of where you start. Yep. That's dumb. Well, you need to go there anyways. Yeah, it's yeah. good for right now, but it's <laughs> kind of annoying when you want to get to Yeah, when you're adult Link, you start off in the Temple of Time. No matter what. Unless it's a dungeon. If it's a dungeon, it makes an exception, so it's just the beginning of the dungeon. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I'm sure they do that. That's the other one, too. What the? The only only has three major dungeons. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, she just stuns. They're gossips. Okay, um, anyways, let's not talk about that. We are talking about. Oh, look, we're at the minute. No, let's just get this. And that's it for this episode. Right. That is indeed. Yes, so there is a save point, and you can use it to save, but we're out. So, uh, next time we will do the remaining half of this level. My name is James. And I'm Matt. If you have a broken game, brothers, like what you saw, please subscribe, press the like button on the screen. We'll see you guys later!